This image is part of its past. And we spoke to the CEO of Westinghouse about his reaction when he saw what happened to this atom smasher with the company's logo still on it. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 was the first to report the historic former Westinghouse Atom Smasher was brought down in Forest Hills by the developer who now owns it. Westinghouse CEO Danny Roderick is not happy to see this. Oh, the base destroyed. Yeah. What's your reaction? Well, I was really sad when I saw that picture because that was not our understanding of what was happening there. We had been working with that uh, developer in a couple different ways. Westinghouse built the Atom Smasher in 1937, the world's first particle accelerator. We were uh, a little shocked when we saw it on its side. And so we're working with some groups right now to try to figure out what to do with that. But uh, uh, we were not aware it was going to be put down like that. CEO Roderick hopes the Atom Smasher can rise again. Westinghouse is sponsoring some things to to try to write that back up and uh, try to figure out what is the right home for that. There was once talk it could be part of a science education center. We actually had put into that funding for that and thought that was going along, which is why we were a little surprised to see that picture. Roderick admits a five-story piece of history might be a challenge for a museum or science center to take in. It's unfortunately big, and, and that's a problem because it's big, and, and but it is an icon, and it's a Pittsburgh icon, and it's certainly... Uh, Something that, uh, that you know we're going to be a part of. The developer said he intends to build a new base for the Atom Smasher at the same spot. Maybe it's time to, to get it to a different location, but you know we don't know how we're going to do that yet. And there's a lot of there's going to be a lot of debate, I think, on that at the Westinghouse facility in Warrendale. Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News Four.